psychiatry, we don't really have a, a uh, something like a blood pressure or a temperature to check um, to, to monitor how our, how our, you know, how our patient's illness is progressing or how, our, how effective or ineffective our treatments are. We, we typically rely on a clinical interview where we ask questions. Do you have sleep problems? How's your mood? This, the idea with this sort of a study is that it would um, one day provide uh, biologic, biologic clues into how, how people are doing, maybe what treatments they will need in the future. This is a, um, a, new, a new kind of um, effort overall in psychiatry to go towards what's called personalized medicine, where we do a better job of matching, matching treatments um, with the patient's biology based on um, pharmacogenomic studies, brain imaging, um, or, or physiologic studies such as the, um, what we call measures of cortical excitability and inhi inhibition. What we did with this one is uh, um, recruited 22 healthy controls and 24 um, children and adolescents with major depression. Serious enough that they were going to require medications for treatment. And we studied these paradigms um, in both groups to make comparisons and found that there were actual differences in the, in the brain functioning of the depressed children, which, which goes a long way in the future towards laying groundwork for maybe, uh, maybe establishing what we call a biomarker for depression.